Thank you for choosing VideoPad from NCH Software. This tutorial is the second part of two video tutorials which cover the basics of editing and adding effects and sound to your videos. In the first video, we covered importing video clips and media, trimming those clips to size by setting in and out points, changing the speed of your clips, and adding effects. In the second half, we'll cover topics about working with text and audio and how to export your finished movie. There are two ways you can add text to your movies, as overlay text for captions, titles, and credits, or as subtitles. We'll only cover overlay text in this tutorial, but if you're interested in learning about subtitles, click the Subtitles button in the toolbar, and then click the Help button in the lower right of the Subtitles dialog for detailed information about working with subtitles in your movies. To add text to your movie, click the Overlay tab under the toolbar and type a bit of text into the Add Overlay Text or Image area of the tab. The text will be added at the end point position, and you'll see a 3 second long box added to the overlay track on the timeline. You can move this box anywhere in the movie along the overlay track, and you can change its duration by dragging out the left and right edges of the box. For more precise duration control, use the in and out points under the Add Overlay Text or Image area of the Overlay tab. You can make your text scroll. For example, if you want to create credits at the end of your movie, first type all the credits into the Add Overlay Text or Image area of the Overlay tab and position them on the overlay track within the movie. Back on the Overlay tab, scroll to the bottom of the Overlay Text area and choose a scroll option. By inserting a blank clip in your sequence, you can create an opening title screen, credits at the end, or use blank clips in the middle to create breaks between scenes. Click the triangle next to the Insert Blank button and choose the color for your blank clip. Then, choose where the blank clip should appear in your sequence and click OK. Once your blank clip is on the sequence, select it to adjust the duration in the Selected Clip Preview window on the Media List tab. Then you can overlay text on the blank clip or apply effects and transitions as needed. When you add a video clip to the sequence, its audio appears in the audio track just below it. Use the panel to the left of the audio to control the volume or to add effects to the sound. To adjust the volume of two audio clips on the same soundtrack independently of each other, right click on a clip and select Adjust Clip Volume. Sometimes, it is useful to unlink the audio from the video so that you can edit it separately from the video. To unlink the audio, right-click the audio and choose the first option, Unlink Sound Clips. Doing this will move the unlinked audio to its own soundtrack, where you will be able to split the audio, control its volume independently of other audio, or move it to another location. VideoPad provides you with an unlimited number of soundtracks. As with video, you can split audio clips for quick editing using the Split tool. Apply effects from the effects chain to optimize your sound. For example, use the High Pass filter to add clarity to muddy audio. Fully control your audio using the Clip Preview window. From the Clip Preview window, you can set in and out points and fade points. You can record a narration to go along with your video. Click the Narrate button on the toolbar. This brings up a window containing all the clips you have edited up to this point so that you can time your narration along with the video. Before you record, make sure VideoPad has the correct microphone selected in the Capture From list. Also, give your narration a name so you'll recognize the audio file later. To begin recording, click the Record button. If you make a mistake, you can click Stop, reposition the cursor, and start again. When you're finished, click Done, and your narration will be added to the media list. Remember, you can also edit narrations on the sequence if needed. VideoPad includes a full sound effect library you can use while editing your movies. You can add background music or add noises that accompany the action in your video. Find the sound effect library by right-clicking on any of the soundtracks, then click on the option that appears. Add sound from NCH Sound Effects Library. 
From the sound effects window, you can preview any sound, then click download to acquire the sound and add it to your VideoPad media list. When you're finished with your editing session, you'll have two options. If you still have work to do on the video, you can save your project and all the file paths it contains. Do this by clicking on the File menu and select Save Project File As. Choose a location to save your project in and click Save. Your project will be saved as a video pad file with the extension VPJ. This file isn't a movie file you can play, just a collection of all the work you've done up to this point. When you're ready to save your completed movie, click the Save Movie button in the toolbar. The Video Output Setup window that appears gives you several options for saving your finalized movie. Start by selecting how you want to save your movie. For example, if you want to burn a DVD, select the Disk option. If you want to upload your video to YouTube, select the YouTube option. Then select the appropriate save options associated with that format and click OK to save, burn, or upload your movie. Thanks again for choosing VideoPad from NCH Software.